Hi everyone, I wanted to sit down today and talk to you about some booktubers who have quite frankly been helping me get through these past few months and they probably don't even know it. So let's talk about how great they are. Um, I have a whole playlist of videos called booktubers I love. I don't think I've made one for one or two years and there are about eight or nine parts, some of them dating back about seven years. So I'll link that playlist in the description box down below though I'm sure some of the booktubers that I've recommended in the past are no longer making videos, but their channels may still be there if you wanna go check them out. So I have made a list, gotta love a list, of 10 booktubers that I've particularly been loving these past few months. And whilst I could just sit here and talk to you about them, which is what I am going to do because that is the title of this video, I also really wanted to make pizza today. And I'm aware that these two things don't necessarily go together, but um, I'm gonna put them together because food is always good and books are always good and that's enough reason for me. Um, over these past few months, I have been, <laughs> I was gonna say, trying to perfect pizza, which makes it sound like I've been trying really hard. So let's, let's not exaggerate. I've just been trying to make decent pizza. I've been trying to make better pizza, good pizza even. Um, there are some recipes out there if you don't wanna bake, but you would like a really nice way of making pizza, minimal effort. Jean and I made a video a few years ago making pizza out of store-bought naan breads and that's really delicious. So I'll link that video in the description box down below, but as we know, I've been baking a lot. So I have been attempting to make, well, not attempting, I have been making pizza from scratch and trying to find the best dough. And I think the key to making my pizza even better is hopefully what I've done this time, which is allowing the dough to prove overnight. I never normally do that. I normally just leave it for two hours and then make a pizza because you don't wanna wait that long for pizza. But last night I got organized and I made some dough. And for anybody wondering, uh, it's 500 grams, zero, zero flour, um, 300 milliliters of warm water, seven grams of active dry yeast, two tablespoons, no, two teaspoons of salt, not tablespoons, and a slug of olive oil. So mix together the water and the yeast, leave that to activate for five minutes, then mix all of the ingredients together, knead for 10 minutes, leave to rise for an hour and then I split it into four and put those dough balls in the fridge and when I took them out this morning they have been resting on the side so that they're getting to room temperature for about an hour they looked really good so fingers crossed that this is going to be a winner so I'm going to talk to you about uh, these great people then going to make some pizza and uh, I should mention also that David Lauren's partner from Lauren in the Books has been experimenting with pizza over on his channel, which I think is why I've been thinking about it more than I normally would. He's been buying pizza from different places, but also trying different recipes and then testing them out, seeing which one works best. I'll link his channel down below too. And a few months ago, I bought a Pizza Pilgrim's make at home kit because Pizza Pilgrim's is a restaurant that I very much miss, but it broke our oven or, more accurately, Mr. M broke our oven because part of the recipe called for putting the pizza in the grill at the end and we have never used the grill on our oven. Um, it was The oven was here when we moved in and when he put it on, I said, that does not sound great. That sounds angry. That sounds like it's probably going to die and Mr. M was adamant that it was absolutely fine and it was not fine and then our oven shut off so we didn't have an oven for a month and that is partly one of the reasons why I didn't do reading vlogs for a while because I couldn't bake. And what is a reading vlog without baking? So our oven is fixed. I shall not be using the grill today and I'm gonna be making some pizza. But first, what you're actually here for, I'm sure, is the list of booktubers who you should check out. I'll link them in the description box down below. You should go to their channels. You should go and say hi. Um, I really think that you'll like these people if you enjoy the videos that I put out. So in no particular order, number one, Hannah. I have mentioned Hannah before, not in a recommendation video, which is why I'm mentioning her here, but in plenty of other videos. So I kind of assume that you've probably already checked her out, but if you haven't, 
I will link her in the description box down below. She's fantastic. She uh, reads a lot of new releases, um, quite a bit of non-fiction and auto-fiction. She speaks a lot about living with chronic illness. Um, she uploaded her Disability Readathon TBR this weekend. Um, so I'll link that particular video in the description box down below. She's great, I love her. Also, she goes wild swimming, which is badass. Someone else who uploaded a disability readathon video this weekend was Tabby, and I will link her video in the description box down below. And while we're talking about disability readathon, I'll link my TBR video in the description box down below as well. I really appreciated Tabby's discussion in her TBR video. She just recently, or is in the middle of, reading Disability Visibility, and she was talking about how that book could really um, made her think very differently about the way that she approaches disability, um, seeing it more from the social model point of view instead of the medical point of view. She's great, linked in the description box. Katie at Reading with Katie is Scottish, but currently living in Iceland. And that makes me very envious because Iceland is a beautiful place. So in her reading vlogs, she talks about books, but you know, there'll also be clips of the Northern Lights and other fantastic things about that beautiful country. She recently did the Galeathon and she did a reading vlog for that. So the Galeathon was reading review copies that you had stacked up on your TBR. And she used a random number generator to decide which books she would get to. And I really liked that approach. I also wanted to mention Nicole is here to learn, who I'm pretty sure I have shouted out before, but I've been particularly enjoying her videos recently. Nicole currently lives in Yorkshire and she is an illustrator. So she talks about illustrating as well as what she's reading. And one of the books that she recently illustrated, which I had to buy because I thought it sounded great, right up my street. This is Cinderella and the Glass Ceiling and Other Feminist Fairy Tales by Laura Lane and Ellen Horn, but it is illustrated by Nicole Miles. So this is the front cover and then she has done a few plates inside as well let me find you one here here it is so that is really charming I also find her videos just really soothing and again shots of the Yorkshire countryside very much appreciated speaking of shots of countryside and places that I appreciate I had to mention Grace who's from the Northeast and we have worked together at various points over the last four years for the Durham Book Festival. And she is from where I'm from, just a bit further north. And I get so, so, so homesick watching her videos in a great way. I love it. Um, seeing all of the beaches in Tynemouth. I'm from south of the river, but I can spy my particular beach and my favorite lighthouse across the waters when she does some shots out to sea. Um, she's particularly into literary thrillers and I very much like her reading vlogs too. Someone who is also called Jen, who I have to recommend is Jen the Librarian, who is, you guessed it, a librarian. And Jen specializes in recommending LGBTQ plus books. And they, like me, love Gaze the Word, which is a queer bookshop in London. And Jen decided what would be a great thing to do would be to research queer bookshops from around the world. And she challenged herself to find books on those websites that she had never heard of. And then she talked about the books that she found that she had never heard of. And I hadn't heard of any of them either. So her channel is a great resource for finding little known as well as well known LGBTQ plus books. Speaking of people who have recommended books that I have never heard of, I have to give a shout out to Dee over at Heroine's Corner. She has an amazing channel and she primarily talks about black British fiction. And she recently did a most anticipated releases video, which included several books that I hadn't heard about and was surprised not to have heard about, including um, a piece of fiction by Akala, who has their first fiction book coming out in... I think it's April, I think it's next month. And I was very surprised that I had not heard anything about it anywhere. As was Dee, she was saying that she hadn't seen anybody talking about it. And it's Sakala, he's fantastic. So I'm very excited that he's writing fiction. Uh, and I'm very excited to have found Dee's channel too, because I think that she's great. Another channel that I wanted to recommend is CJ over at CJ Reads. She lives in Portland, which means that you are gonna get shots occasionally of Powell's, which is the biggest bookstore in the world. And why would you not want to see that? She also has an amazing, adorable dog and she films great casual reading vlogs, which I really appreciate. She reads a lot of um, 
recent releases, autofiction, memoir, essays. And as well as that, she talks about mental health. She shows decorating that she's doing in her flat. And she also shows putting up bookshelves, which, you know, is always a very satisfying thing to watch, along with food hauls, which ultimately I think I appreciate the most. Another Nicole that I have to mention is Books From Bed. Nicole and I have very, very similar reading tastes. So short stories, magical realism, dark, twisted, queer, feminist stories. Yes, please. So if you enjoy the books that I enjoy, then you will definitely enjoy her channel. I love her reading vlogs. Reading vlogs are the things that I am drawn to most at the moment and she has some great ones along with talking about books she also talks about chronic illness and she also talks about writing because she is a writer that is what she wants to do in her life and watching her talk about um, the process of submitting to journals and competitions is always really interesting and my final recommendation is a channel that I only discovered yesterday but quickly fell in love with and I discovered them through CJ's channel this is Carly and her channel has exploded I think she only started in January and she's at 33,000 subscribers already. And I'm pretty sure two weeks ago in a video I was watching, she was thanking everyone for reaching 13,000 subscribers. So she has grown. She is very sarcastic and very funny. She's 20 years old and she has a lot of themed reading vlogs. So reading favorite books by famous people. Honestly, she just makes me giggle a lot. There's also something about her manner that reminds me of Jennifer from Insert Literary Pun here. In fact, when I was watching her videos, I wondered if she was Jen's younger sister and that was just somehow a secret that no one knew. I don't know if it's facial expressions. I'm not really sure if it's the dry humor. I don't know, but I love both of them. And, um, maybe it would be too much of an awesome family if they were related, but yeah. Jen, tell me, do you have a younger sister who has this YouTube channel? Probably not, but I'm just throwing that out there. So those are 10 people that I think you should go over to now and subscribe, or at least when this video is finished, if you wanna see the pizza making now, tell them that I said hi. I, if that's not creepy, maybe that's creepy. Maybe don't say that, I don't know. Um, yeah, anyway, let's go make some pizza and then I will see you for a new bookish video later in the week. Lots of love, bye.